What is up ladies and gentlemen, your boy Jay is here and today we have a very interesting video. I was gonna talk about some of my favorite Assassin's Creed's but we'll save that until closer when Assassin's Creed Origins drops. And one other thing I wanna talk about before we go into the video. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I will be live streaming Assassin's Creed Unity today on the channel, both on my YouTube channel and on my Twitch page so you guys can keep an eye on notifications. Um, follow me on Twitter and whatnot so that way you can definitely definitely show up on time because i know a lot of you guys are not very you know when you see the notification you go off you'll be like oh it's just jay streaming you know I i'll come back later i'll catch it another time no the hell you will not okay you will click that goddamn link all right so i just wanted to let you guys know i've been live streaming the entire assassin's creed franchise so if you've missed it for the past three months now is your time to catch up i never really announced it but it was kind of something that i told people i was doing on twitter so if you follow me on twitter you would have known that but anyway let's get into today's video so Today we are discussing the new combat system for Assassin's Creed. Now, if you guys hadn't noticed, uh, the combat looks a little different compared to the previous Assassin's Creed games. I'll actually go ahead and show some gameplay on screen for you guys. Now, the original gameplay was kind of this lock-on system to where you can, it's an overhead view and you can see all of your enemies and you kind of take turns going back and forth, trading attacks, countering, and then you just whack your enemy to death like that 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 those days are over okay assassin's creed origins now has this new hitbox system is what they call it but i mean the simplest terms is if you guys have been playing for honor another ubisoft game that has come out it is very reminiscent of that you attack from the left the right or on top and it's very similar to what's being used in assassin's creed origins it's a completely different combat system where you're honed in and focused on one enemy at a time and everything is time based so if you swing and you miss you hit absolutely nothing and they can counter attack you so it's definitely very based on timing and no longer about okay let me wait and then i'll counter not only that another factor that has to go into combat which is very very strange they introduced this concept a little bit in assassin's creed syndicate and assassin's creed unity is the leveling system it's a little bit more rpg driven a little bit more like dark souls so if you're going up against an enemy who is far greater than you there's going to be a very slim chance that you can kill them either in one shot or kill them at all period like combat is just not an option in this scenario big fella let me tell you so of course every single character has their own level bar and of course you can level up and level your items up and things like that but from what ash has been talking about both on twitter and in a previous interview is that it's going to be nearly impossible to just quick stab somebody and get away with a kill like there's obviously going to be fodder enemies that you can do that to but larger enemies obviously are going to be more of a challenge there's not going to be a situation where you're on top of an enemy that's stronger than you and manage to aerial assassinate them it's not going to work that way anymore before in the previous assassin's creed games if you caught somebody off guard that wasn't paying attention you insta kill them like with an aerial assault or with uh hiding in a bush and pulling them into that bush and then killing them the, those days are long over my friends unfortunately i mean i like this new level weapon system leveling system and whatnot it, it adds a great deal of depth to, to the actual rpg like version of this game i guess i could say like it adds more of an rpg element and i have to say before this game like got announced and all of this all information was coming out it definitely was something that ash was talking about uh his team was actually looking to witcher 3 as an inspiration as to what their next game was going to be like and i get a very big witcher 3 vibe there's a crafting system in this game now that actually helps you craft and, and uh manufacture different weapons and tools and like poison and all sorts of stuff so you can find these things in the world and then another thing kind of stemming from the combat system so i'm going to interrupt myself here is that after you kill an enemy when you're actually looting them it's no longer the same type of loot system as before every enemy has an inventory and you can take things from their inventory and you can choose to keep it and you can use it at a later date now 
some items you'll be able to pick up and you can manufacture later on so if you let's just say for the sake of the scenario you kill someone and they happen to be carrying poison on them not only do you pick up that poison and you can use it at any time but you can choose to craft more poison or or add poison damage to your uh, other items and your other weapons and things like that you can use the poison for various reasons so I, I think it's cool I mean it's a great aspect it's definitely a change of pace and it adds once again more of more depth to the RPG element of this game and I'm very excited to see where that's gonna go but let's go ahead and go back to talking about the combat now the combat is seems a little iffy for me because I'm not really like keen on the one-on-one -on -one combat idea like i think it's great but the camera view is a little weird i'm used to the previous version where it's like yes you can see all these other enemies at the same time so if they were attacking you simultaneously at least you could see it with this camera view like i said it just focuses and hones in on one enemy which is can get a little weird considering some of the tougher enemies may flank you they may swarm around you they may call reinforcements or something so it's really interesting to see them take this approach. I'm just wondering why this was a change that they felt they needed to make. And, you know, it's 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 great for what it is. I mean, it'll provide for really good game combat, like really good looking gameplay. But aside from that, it's like, what other reason could you possibly have? Now, some changes I probably would have made was to implement a few more items, much like in Witcher 3, when you're going up against certain enemies, they're weak against certain type of weapons. So let's just say, for the sake of, you know, not having any spoilers, if you haven't played The Witcher 3, you definitely should. It's one of the greatest games of all time. But anyway, The Witcher 3 has like specific weapons. You get a steel sword and you get a silver sword. The silver sword is killing from using used for killing magical creatures, excuse me, used for killing magical creatures like wraiths, uh, griffins, uh, you know, shit like that, zombies and shit like that. So you can actually lace your silver sword with different type of afflictions and like poisons and damage amplifiers. You can increase your own abilities with these potions and things like that. I would have liked to see that aspect brought to Assassin's Creed. I feel like that would have been something that definitely could have been a really, really deep feature to add. So when you go up against heavier, heavy type armored enemies, you would use piercing damage, like a, a rapier or something like that. Like some, some type of needle type, uh, you know, like a needle type of weapon, you know, that's sharp, quick, gets, gets things done, has penetrating damage, piercing damage, I guess you could say, that just goes straight through that armor. Then you'll have some other enemies who use less armor, but they're kind of like heavy, heavy type of units. They're big guys, you know, so it requires, you know, maybe the hack and slash is not going to work. So you pick up a hammer. So, you know, different objects would obviously perform better against certain enemies i don't know if that's something that could still be implemented in the late game like you know being like 20 some odd days from launch i don't think that's something that they can just magically whip up but maybe that's just a suggestion that gets passed around and maybe you know the the thought process gets to kicking that's that's the whole point of you know this video but you know that's just how i feel about it and obviously once again in the witcher you have your regular sword that actually does amplify damage against specifically human type enemies like silver your silver sword does not work on humans like obviously you damage them you know you cut them and stuff like that but the, the steel sword is really what you're looking for so and then that has its own damage amplifiers and stuff like that and the witcher is just chock full of just tons of different ways to manipulate your gameplay into you performing better as Geralt of Rivia so you know that's just how I feel about the situation but let me know what you guys think I'm very interested to see what some of your uh, opinions and ideas of the gameplay like do you guys like this new change to it do you don't like it let me know down in the comments section I'm really interested to find out like I know a lot of people are huge fans of like the way Assassin's Creed has been and it's easy to get set in your ways and it's kind of hard to try some new stuff but I mean you know new game you know, Assassin's Creed Black Flag team, I wanted to say new game, new team, but like, it's, it's a new era, and hopefully this Assassin's Creed game is going to provide us a even better, like, 
experience than the previous Assassin's Creed. So that's just what I hope. Like, I feel like this is the redeeming Assassin's Creed for us. Like, for hardcore fans, we've been really looking forward to an Assassin's Creed game that is going to top Assassin's Creed 2, top Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. But that kind of gets into talking about what the best Assassin's Creed in, which we'll, we'll make a video on that eventually. And I, I look forward to seeing you guys' opinions in that video. But... Um, but that's pretty much it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Give this video a like if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you are indeed new and you enjoy the content that you have consumed thus far. And make sure to turn on that notification bell so that way you can get notified when I upload and live stream and anything else that I happen to post on the channel. So make sure to, uh, once again, give this video a like. This has been your boy, Just Jay Sama, and I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon. Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.